use headphones for best experience. actually celebrating 100 years, this uh, competition. So as you can see here, Vasa Lopet, the Vasa race, is an annual long-distance cross-country ski race held on the first Sunday of March. It's 90 kilometers or 56 miles. And it starts in the village of Sälen and ends in the town of Mora in northwestern Dalarna in Sweden. So I thought we could check this um, this distance, this route on some maps maybe. And also I would like to draw some um, details from from maybe the altitude curve of the race. I watched it uh, this morning in, on Swedish television. It was very interesting. It's a lot about geography, the Basel. So here we have uh, Dalarna in Sweden. This landscape, old region, traditional region. Also, it's the same area as the modern administrative region, Kopperbergs Lern. Lern is the Swedish divisions used uh, politically in Sweden. And sometimes the, these old uh, traditional landscapes correspond quite well with the modern districts. And that's the case when it comes to Dalarna. It's an area where it's a strong identity, like, I don't know, I just got the words heart of Sweden in uh, my mind now, but I'm, I'm not sure I've heard, heard it, but it's like, it's very, it feels very Swedish and a lot of symbols um, that you maybe think of when you think of Sweden. And like in the tourist shops and things like that. When you find Dala Heston, for example, the horse painted in uh, the, the uh, wooden, small wooden horse, for example, um, painted in some characteristic patterns and styles and colors, are from Dala and Uh, traditional clothing. Clothing is something I think about when I think about Dalarna. So it's been for a long time part of Svealand. And Svealand is uh, in the middle of Sweden and 
the origin of Sweden. So Sweden started in Svealand. Here you see, almost on this map, you see Uppsala, but it's not on this map, it's just here. Uppsala, the old capital in the Iron Age and Bronze, or in the Viking Age. Before Stockholm was the capital of Sweden, then Uppsala was the most important city of Sweden and of this region, this part of Sweden that is now Svealand. So Dalarna was like the the western part of of, of the old Sweden, I guess. So here we have Salen, very popular ski um, place where people go skiing in the winter. Ski resort. And you can see here on this map it says Vasaloppet. This dotted line here. Mongsbotarna. Here we have a, a water stream. There's Evertsberg. There's Oxberg. Dal Elven. This uh, river here, coming to the um, Lake Siljan, in the middle of Dalarna. And Sala is located by the Wester Dal Elven. That's west and East Dal Elbe. And here they merge together into just Dal Elbe. Let's go back to Vasaloppet here. So Sälen, Mongsbodarna, Evertsberg, Oxberg. Then it follows Österdal, Elven, to Mora town. So this distance is kilometers long you can check it here on a more detailed map as well says start, start Vasaloppet. So it starts south of the village Salem. And it goes here. There are like a number 
number of stations along the way where where uh, the people participating can get uh, water and maybe new equipment if if a stick has been broken or something so there are like the distance is divided into sections so here we have the first stop small gun it's called north of these lakes small gun small gun and then we enter Elvet Islands uh, municipality and uh, we have the second stop here Mongs Bodana it's been a stop at uh, Vasaloppet since the very start in 1922 then we cross this uh, small river or stream of water Van On at this place here, Ten Eng. Van Oon is also famous for the Van Van Spro swim. But that's uh, quite far from here actually. It's if you continue Van Oon all the way to Van Spro. Here it's the swimming, uh, open water swimming competition taking place. called Eld Ries. Then uh, the last distance, last section all the way to Mora, this uh, town by the Lake Siljan. Quite a big lake in Sweden. ski track in like a, how we 
it looks uh, on different altitudes. You'll see what I mean. It's almost like a music sheet. So here we have the altitude 100 meters. Two, three, four. Here we have the altitude 500 meters. from from Mora from finishing and eighty five eighty seventy five seventy Zero. Finish in Mora. Salem, where we start. Salen, in the west of Dalarna, there, there's a quite mountainous area. The mountains in Sweden are located here in the west, close to Norway, the Scandinavian mountain range. So, we start here, between uh, 200 and three, uh, between 300 and 400 meters altitude. And um, it starts uh, just south of Salem and uh, just uh, after the start is a uh, road crossing. And I heard that it was a quite a chaotic start this year. A lot of things happened and a lot of participants couldn't continue more than like five minutes and then uh, their sticks or their skis broke or something happened when 
so many people start at the same time. And it starts with a lot of appeal. It's a tough start. To 500 meters. Then it's flat. It's on the Myers. And I guess it's a very nice part of the skiing distance here. When it's flat, when it's on the Myers relax a bit or maybe the the those who compete don't allow themselves to relax but anyway here we have the first station called smogan It's a bit uphill again. And then it's a very long downhill. And you pass. By the way, after two hours or something like that, uh, in Smog Smogan station, they put a rope over over the tracks. So those who still haven't haven't reached Smogan on that time, I don't know exactly when they do this, but um, they, it's like then then it's uh, time is out and you can't continue competing. You were too slow. Then it's uphill again. A bit downhill, and then we have the station Rispay. Appear a bit and flat for a while. A bit appear again, and then. Down here, down here. Now oh, we're leaving the mountains area here, you can see. When we're at 35 kilometers from finish to here, it's 50% of the distance. halfway. You're still in the mountainous area, but then we're in the more low altitude areas. There are some smaller uphill and downhill, uphill, downhill, so it's not totally flat here. And uh, those uh, smaller 
slopes and hills between Evich Paddy. Let's see. Where's Evich Paddy? We have it approximately at, at the middle here. Before the downhill starts, we have Evich Paddy. Also one of the original uh, stops along the way. And uh, the next stop is quite far from Evich Bay. It's uh, 15 kilometers between Evich Bay and uh, Oaks Bay. Bay on a very high altitude and Oaks Bay on a very low altitude. Between these, it's 15 kilometers. So you can see we were in the mountains and now we are by the river here. It's much lower land. These uh, small hills here are called the the Lundbeck's Backana, the Lundbeck's Hills, named after someone called Lundbeck, who who did a race here in 1981 and became quite famous for that. And uh, after Oxbay, we have some more hills here. Uh, called the Oxbergs Backen, the Oxbergs Hills. And here we have another station called Hökberg. Hökberg was a small. Um, cottage or chalet here, so it's a very small, not a, not a big village or anything. Yeah, you can't see it on this map, for example. And then it's quite flat here, before finish. The Eld Ries station and Mora. So the first section, Salem to Smogan, is nine point two kilometers long, and uh, this section between Smogan and uh, Mongsbodana is fourteen point three kilometers. So that's one of the longest th sections. The flat starts very flat and then this long downhill. And then we have uh, the section between Mongsbodana and the Rispay. It's 10.8 kilometers. And between the 
display and the image body we have 12.4 kilometers between image bay and Oaks bay we have 15.0 and between Oaks Bay and um, Herc Bay yeah, Goop's House is located here but sometimes it's mentioned on some maps it's mentioned as a station and then we would have 4.5 kilometers between Oaks Bay and uh, Goop's and 4.7 kilometers between um, Kupsus and Herk Bay. So in total it's 9.2 kilometers. It's also a place called Lade here. Le uh, Lade. Sometimes it's uh, in the list of stops on some maps. And then we have 4.7 kilometers hook by to Lade. So a total of, let's see, section here is 8.9 kilometers Eldris to Mora. So if you count these stops as well, it will be a total of 10 sections, otherwise it will be 8 sections for these 90 kilometers in total. Six miles course starts in the village of Salen and ends in the town of Mora in northwestern Dalarna, Sweden. It is the oldest cross country ski race in the world as well as the one with the highest number of participants. The race 
place was inspired by a notable journey King Gustavosa made from Mura, Mura to Salem. When he was fleeing from Christian II's soldiers during the winter of 1520 to 1521, I really think the history behind the Vasalopet is super interesting. There's a lot of history behind it. Or a legend, might be just a legend. According to legend, he fled on skis. The modern competition started in 1922 and it has been part of the World Loppet events since 1979. I don't know what World Loppet is. The World Loppet Ski Federation is a federation of long distance cross country skiing events whose aim is to promote cross country skiing through ski races. So there are events in Australia, Czech Republic, Austria, Italy, Germany, France, Japan, Estonia, Canada. For example, with different distances here. Argentina, New Zealand, China, Iceland. So yeah, it looks like the Valsalopet is a quite a long distance. Ninety forty-five thirty. Three different distances, I'm not sure. The distance I am showing here is the 90 kilometer one. Origin. In 1520, the young nobleman Gustav Eriksson Vasa was fleeing from the troops of Christian II, King of Denmark, Sweden and Norway. These three countries were united during this time, the Middle Ages, in the Kalmar Union. And much of the Swedish nobility was in opposition to the king and had nicknamed him Christian the Tyrant. In a move to silence the opposition, Christian invited the Swedish aristocracy to a reconciliation party in Stockholm, only to have them, including Gustav's parents, massacred in what came to be known as the Stockholm bloodbath. Yeah, this is a very horrible event. was a trial that led to a series of executions in Stockholm between 7th and 9th November 1520. Stockholm Massacre or Stockholm Bloodbath. This is a Stockholm Bloodbath as it was depicted in Blood Bad's Planchen. Here's the big church in uh, Old Town, Stockholm. Old city, the center of Stockholm.
this took, took place in the main square there. Gustav fled through Dalarna, fearing for his life. Uh, if, if he were discovered by the king's troops. He spoke to the men of Mora at the gathering and tried to convince them to raise a levy and uh, start a rebellion against King Christian. The men refused to join the rebellion and Gustav started out west toward Norway to seek ref ref refuge. However, the men in Mora changed their minds after hearing that the Danish rulers had decided to raise taxes and now they wanted to join the rebellion with Gustav as their leader. They sent out the two best skiers in the country. Two brothers from Mora, Lars and Engelbrecht to search for him and they caught up with him at Salem on 6th of June 1523 Gustav Vasa was crowned king of Sweden after having defeated the Danish king Christian and dissolved the Kalmar Union since that day, Sweden has been an independent nation. And this is interesting. While Gustav traveled from Mora to Salem, the modern race is run the opposite way. Finishing in Mora, starting in Salem. Then we have some history about the race here. Vasaloppet is the oldest cross-country ski race in the world, as well as the one with the highest number of participants. In the past, it was also the longest race, until it was surpassed by Pendlerennet. The idea for the race was published in Westmanslands Tining on uh, 10th of February 1922 by Anders Pash from Mora. On 5th of March 1922, the board of IFK Mora decided to organize a trial race. Newspaper Dagens Nyheter sponsored the race with 1,000 Swedish crowns and with finances secured. The first race was held on 19th March 1922. 136 participants registered for the race and 119 started. The winner was 22-year-old Ernst Alm from Norsjö Sports Club. In seven hours, 32 minutes and 49 seconds. He is also the youngest ever winner of the race. In the 80, 80th race held on 7th of March 2004, about 15,500 skiers competed in the main event. More than 40,000 participated in one of the seven different races held during the first week of March. Vasaloppet is one of the races in the Long Distance Cup Ski Classics. When Swedish Prime Minister Olof Palme was assassinated just two days before the race in 1986, a cancellation of that year's race was considered However, the race 
proceeded as planned with the 10,000 participants observing a moment of silence before the start. Women's participation. Women winners in Vazarabet have received awards since 1997. Before that, in 1922 to 23 and 1981 to 96, women were allowed to race but did not receive an award. Okay. I think this was quite late, wasn't it? something about stations. Traditionally since 1958, blueberry soup or blueberry soup made by Ekstrom's food company is served at the stations along the course. The Swedish word for blueberry, blåbär, literally means blueberry. About 50,000 liters is served during the Vasaloppe. In addition, sports drinks and vasalapet buns are also served. Coffee is served at the Elderies station. The last stop before finish. For a number of years, Ekstrams had the logo for the Blober Shopper printed on the number tags worn by the, by the participants in uh, the race. The word blåbär was printed in large bold letters, which resulted in the participants being called blåbär. A double meaning and pun, since the word is also used to describe a rookie. Okay, the first stop or I mean the start is actually called Bergepi. You can see here on this uh, list of stations. Not Salen exactly. Bergepi. And here's an interesting track profile. Berga Springsbackarna. If you remember, it was very much uphill there in the beginning. Smogan, Longheden, that's the flat. Meyer, Mångsbordarna, Tenning, Risberg, Lyttran, Evertsberg, Björnarvet, Kvarnbäcken, Oxberg. Högberg, Eldris, Nora. Ah, here it says something about the rope I was mentioning before. The rope, also referred to as the uh, dreaded rope, is a series of ropes drawn across the track at certain times to prevent participants who have no chance of reaching the finish line in Mora before the area is closed to continue. The ropes in Vasalopet are drawn at seven of the stations. Smorgan, Mongsbodana, Risberg, Evertsberg, Oxberg, Högberg and Eltris. The race starts at 8 a.m. and the finish area is closed at 8.15 p.m. just before the prize ceremony. Here. So 
So we have the first section, silent start to small gun. It's very uphill early on asphalt, but then a flat course on gravel track. 9.2 kilometers and uh, 140 meters total climb so it's very steep or very much uphill the Smogan to Mungsbodana section is 14.3 uh, kilometers long 51 meters total climb so winding hilly trails with some footbridges over the marsh mires for 10 kilometers. Total of 4.5 kilometers gravel tracks at the beginning and end. The Mons Bodana to Risperi section is 10.8 kilometers long. It's a light downhill section in rocky terrain on a winding and partially rocky trail for 4.5 kilometers to 10 Eng. After that, heavy running on bark and gravel up a long but not steep slope to the Space Summer Farm with a final kilometer on a nice downhill path along the summer Pastures, pastures, Vasalops Boret and Vasalops Leden. Then we have the Lisberg Evich Berry section, 12.4 kilometers long. It's a hilly forest terrain and 2 kilometers gravel and 3 kilometers asphalt. Passes by Evich Bay's Lakes Beach. Oxby, 15 kilometers long and um, 115 meters total climb. It's a very long downhill here. First section, easy downhill to Vassland. Then some tough climbs, including Lundbeck Hill up to Uxby. Fine summer farm milieu passing Bjorn Arvet. Varied surfaces of asphalt, gravel, park, forest track, and a little marsh mire. Here between Evich Bay. Yes, this one. The water stream here. The 
Oxby to Gopsu section, 4.5 kilometers. Gentle rolling terrain on the Vasalopet course, but a bit up to Gopsu's ski slope. Yeah, so here it's a, it's a, it's a ski slope as well, next to the, next to the tracks, I guess for downhill skiing. It's uh, 33 meters climb. Uh, the section Gopses to Herk Bay is 4.7 kilometers long. It's an easy forest road at the beginning and slightly uphill in the second half. 43 meters climb Hug by to ladder section 4.7 kilometers long a forest track with some gravel down for one kilometer at beginning and then gently rolling terrain passing the summer farm ladder to Eldris section 5.5 kilometers long gently rolling terrain passing the summer farm Krong Åsen and Eldris to Mora finish 8.9 kilometers long easy running on forest roads and tracks slight ups and downs then pass the ski stadium Prestholmen through the camping over Auckland Brun Auckland Bridge to the final straight to finish under the world famous portal is the portal the text was about what does it say i fäders spår för framtids segrar for future victories in fathers spår like tracks should mention who won who won the race today in the women's competition it was Astrid Öyre Slind in the men's uh, competition it was Andreas Nygård Andreas Nygård from Norway the 10th year in a row that the Norwegian had won the men's competition of Vasaloppet. Astrid Öyreslind sounds like a Norwegian name to me as well. Let me check. Astrid Öyreslind is a Norwegian cross-country skier. skier. She compared at the 2009, 10 and 11 Junior Championships. She made a World Cup debut in March 2008. Hmm. Oh, 
hope you enjoyed this video about Vasalupat that you found it relaxing Thank you so much for watching, take care, stay safe, sleep well, see you soon.